My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UI path. Today we will see how we can read a CSV file, how we can do some operations and filters on it, and finally how to write it out again either to the CSV file or an Excel file. If you enjoy the video, please subscribe to the channel to get all the future videos about RPA. With that said, let's get started. So we got a comma separated file here. We can right click it and open it with Notepad just to see that it's really comma separated. You can see it here. But let's open it in Excel to inspect the data. We have a sample data set here. It's just a order date, region, rep, item, units, unit cost, and total with some data rows in it. And then we got two blank columns called West question mark and big sale. What we want to do here is that we want to Every time there's a west error here in this row, we want to have a yes here. And every time a total sale error afterwards, every time a total sale is bigger than a thousand, then we want to write out to this column yes. So let's sort the first problem first. That um, whenever the region is west, we want to have a yes in this west column. So um, let's uh, go out of this again. What we need to do is first we need to read the data. We have the CSV file and we want to read it to a data table so we can do operations on it. So search for a read CSV, drag this guy in and we want to have the file path. So shift right click here and copy as path right there, paste it in. We could also have found it manually up here and then we want to output it to a data table and you need to create that data table. So we could either control K and you can call it whatever you want. I'll call it DT sample like this and you can go down to variables manager and we can expect that the dt sample is indeed a data table so that's fine now we read it but we need to do something we need to iterate through each row in this data table and this data table is just it looks the same as this csv file however uh, it's just a data table so uh, just remember how the data looked and it will look the same here there's really no difference so uh, we want to find a for each row so we can iterate through each row of the data table and uh, we want to uh, put in the dt sample here that one, that's the name of our data table we we'll delete this body so right now we read the csv file and we do uh, for each row here but we do don't do nothing so nothing will really happen we can do that so uh, let's um, find a, an if we want to find out if uh, the region is west and we want to do something and the way we'll do it here is that we'll uh, call the row, that's just the current row that we're in. Then we're going to call the column, that's called item. And the column name that we wanted to look at, that was the region, right, with a capital R. Let's inspect the data again. Yep, like here. So um, in the row item, in the parentheses, quotation mark, region, quotation mark end, and then to string. So now we uh, took whatever in our current uh, row. Uh, in the region column and uh, we can have a condition on it and that's if that's equal to west remember that quotation marks and then west then we want to do something we want to what we want to do is that we want to assign a yes to this uh, west thing here so uh, let's find an assign drag this guy in and uh, the way we'll do it here is that we will need to call it so we need to again the same syntax is up here row item and then the west question mark uh, we want to assign something to uh, this cell we can see that the uh, column name was named west question mark what we'll do is just we'll just assign simple yes and we uh, are now done however nothing will happen because we read the csv file we do some operations with the data table and then the data will get deleted so we need to print it out again i think we'll uh, print it out to the csv file first so we'll find a right CSV and remember to drag it outside of the for each row and we will just use the same um, as up here, the same path because it's the same file that we want to write to and that's just a DT sample again. So now we can write to this CSV file. Let me close this one down and we can run it. <coughs> So UI path run and it's done. So the CSV operations, they are really fast. Now we can open it and inspect our data and check that uh, if the region is west, then we indeed wrote to uh, the column here, 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 here. So that's fine. 
Now we want to do, um, or we want to find out if the total sale was over a thousand. Then we wanted to write in a yes into the big sale. So like here, we want to write in yes. However, it's um, something else, but it's it's almost the same. We just want to do it a little bit different. So um, up here, we will have an if more. Find an if, drag it in, in the for each. So we'll st we're still iterating true. And now what we'll need to ask is that um, we need to ask, uh, we need to find the row item and then we want to find the total, remember that, to string. However, right now uh, this is a string and we can't really do uh, nothing like a bigger end and a smaller end. So we need to convert this to a number that's called a double. So what we'll do here is that in the beginning, oh, let me just uh, cut this out, I'll paste it in, so cut this out. We still have it in the clipboard because then it's more clean to look at. So what we'll do is that we'll have a convert and then to double. Mm, see? And then we'll have a parenthesis and then we'll paste in our uh, string from before. And what we'll uh, do here is that we will... Um, so we, we have this string and then we convert it to a double. Then we want to say that if this one is bigger than a thousand, then we want to do something. So right now we do, don't do nothing, however, we want to do something. And there's just the same syntax as up here. We want to print it to the big sale. So copy this, and paste it in here, and we can just change this to, what was it? Big sale, Psst, uh, big B. So uh, let me, oh, big change, big sale, sorry. A little bit tired after a hard work day, but this one should do. So now we have both of them and we can write it to a CSV file. Let me close it down again and check if we actually are right. So now we run it. And we can open up the sample data. Just check if we are right. And we can see that we are indeed right. So now we solve it. However, say that we want to print it out to a an Excel sheet instead of a CSV, then we can just uh, find a right range. Well, actually, we will um, search for the right range, like I said, and not like I wrote, and take the one on the workbook, not under Excel. So um, let us uh, delete this right CSV and have a right range as well. And what will uh, the workbook path? Uh, that will just be. Um, let us just um, change this uh, end. So shift right click again and copy as path here and paste it in here. However, we'll just change the ending. So that will be an Excel uh, ending. So XLSX, that's the Excel. We will delete this range because we will write everything. The sheet one is good. And then we will have the DT sample. So this one should do. Now we will print out it to a new, um, new Excel. And that will be an Excel called um, sample data as well. So uh, let's run it. So we read from the CSV and then we'll print it out to an Excel file. So now, and we can see that this uh, worked and we can expect the data again. However, it's just the same data as before, but um, now it's just an Excel file. Let me just open it. <laughs> and we can see that we indeed uh, have everything right. However, we have no headers on. And why is that? That's because in our right range, there's a property called add headers. So we can add these headers if we want, and then we can run it again and inspect that it actually works. That's up to you guys. So that's it for the video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will help me a lot. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That's it for now. Bye-bye.